How do TV parents deal with them? Pick up your sword, butcher's boy. Let's see how good you are. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV brats. Uh, he's just a little sick, Mr. Garrison. He's got boner <laughs> Right, guys? For this list, we're taking a look at those characters from our favorite TV shows who are under the age of 20 and either unruly, spoiled, or just all-around bad seeds. I have a list of 100 words to learn. That's only 92 more than you know now. It's safe to say they're written this way, but that doesn't keep us from wishing they'd grow out of their sometimes unbearable personalities. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Number 10, Reese Wilkerson, Malcolm in the Middle. Hey, moron, he's 16. He doesn't do kid stuff. He goes to parties, drinks beer, and goes skiing. Right, genius. Shut up. Hey. You shut up. No, you shut up. Make me. Girl, I'll make you right now. Having a brood of boys is undoubtedly difficult. So when one of them turns out to be a dim-witted school bully with a penchant for senseless violence, what do you do? Nothing, it seems. Are you happy you crippled your mother? Mario! We guess his parents had their hands full just providing food and shelter for their family. Hey, hey, hey! What's wrong with you? You know you're not supposed to skate in the house. Why? Everyone else in the world gets to. So this particular brat is free to terrorize and harass without recourse. How delightful. Let me adjust your bra strap. Number nine, Caitlin Cooper, the OC. But if I don't get an A in chemistry, I have only you two to blame. So less whining, more lab recording. Rich kids sometimes have rotten attitudes, but rich kids on teen dramas are the absolute worst. Not to be outdone by all the debauchery and antics from the wave of bored and aimless teens that preceded her, this spoiled little rich girl is going for the gold. Well, you know, since my grades went from B's to A's, I was actually wondering if you could change my A's to B's. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally kidding. Unfortunately, she was gunning to be the reigning queen of angsty and annoying brats in a wealthy coastal community. She certainly succeeded. Well, I don't love Marissa that much. It's just all the older kids, they just see me as Marissa's little sister. And they've graduated. And now I can rule Harbor. Number eight, Cindy Brady, the Brady Bunch. How does butterflies get in your stomach? While she may have been adorable in pigtails, if you needed a secret kept, you had to keep it away from this pint-sized blabbermouth. I wish I was old enough to understand all these things I'm too young to understand. Her adorable lisp didn't keep her from running her mouth and her family even had to host an intervention to curb her tendency to rat on any and everyone. She didn't even yell at the boys, and it was their dog that chased Fluffy. She would have made a horrible criminal. Yeah, get to the next one. Number seven, Dora Winifred D.W. Reed, Arthur. You were born with glasses. You were only two years old then, so you probably don't remember. Temper tantrums and self-entitlement are kind of normal for five-year-olds, but when this five-year-old has been having temper tantrums for almost 20 years, it starts to get old. Let me down! No! No! Let me go! <laughs> we're certain that at some point, her older brother Arthur wished his parents never got busy and created this younger sister from hell, but maybe that's not a theme covered in a children's show. Now go to your room. And don't come out until I say so. Number six, Angelica Pickles, Rugrats. I have to explain everything to you little babies. Wow! Even the way she was drawn was annoying. In addition to being self-centered, spoiled, and bossy, Angelica spends her time antagonizing a set of babies and being obsessed with herself. Oh yeah? I can and I will. And when that truck gets here, I'm going to eat all those ice cream cones myself. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be so bad if her parents didn't enable her. But clearly being cute and manipulative can get you far in this world. That fact doesn't really change that much in adulthood either. It wasn't me. It was mm, mm, Spike. But don't be mad, Aunt Dee Dee. He's just a poor dumb doggy. Number five, Eric Cartman, South Park. You have to wonder why his friends even bother to hang out with him. <laughs> Mr. Hat yelled at you. <laughs> the way he treats them and his mother is deplorable, but they seem to tolerate it for the most part. He's a gluttonous, selfish, rotten kid who's incapable of showing restraint. You shouldn't have written a paper about dolphins. Dolphins are stupid. Dude, 
Dolphins are like the second smartest animal on the planet. <laughs> ah, right. If they're so damn smart, how come they get caught in those fishing nets all the time? And is often the source of most of the show's problems. He's completely unpleasant and yet popular. Sounds like elementary school to us. What the hell are you doing telling people that we're a gay couple? Oh, heard that through the grapevine, did you? Number four. Lucy Van Pelt, The Peanuts Franchise. That's ridiculous. No animal could huff and puff that hard. <laughs> what did she bring to the table other than an abrasive personality and unyielding crush on Schroeder? I'm glad to see you practicing so hard. It's a sign that you really think about the future. What if you and I got married someday, Schroeder? Aside from her generally disagreeable nature and crappy attitude, Lucy also couldn't be trusted to hold a football in place while Charlie Brown attempted to kick it. Hey, that's a great idea, Charlie Brown. Why don't you trade yourself? Of all the low-down, dirty, underhanded tricks, this little girl took the cake. This year, let's try to get the ball over the plate, you blockhead! Number three. Joffrey Baratheon, Game of Thrones. One word and I hit you again. I'm telling mother. He's a sadistic, eagle maniacal, entitled teenage boy with a face even his mother doesn't love. He clearly gets great delight from inflicting pain and suffering on others, so he's clearly fit to govern. He promised to be merciful. I was. I gave him a clean death. But maybe his entire horrible existence serves as a cautionary tale as to why it's a bad idea to get busy with your siblings. As if the gross factor isn't reason enough. I said, Anna. Number two, Dennis Mitchell, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> oh. That was a close one, wasn't it, Mr. Williams? Sure, his capers may have been family friendly, but that didn't make them any less exasperating. And getting into trouble was kind of his thing. I'll get him, Mr. Wilson! Oh. Oh. Dennis's whole shtick was centered on how adorable he could be while moderately inconveniencing as many adults as possible. To top it off, he had a captive audience. Kids those days. Before we send our top pick to time out, here are a few honorable mentions. Willow, nice dress. Good to know you've seen the softer side of Sears. Oh, well, well, my mom picked it up. No wonder you're such a guy magnet. Where is she? What? Who? My dolly. Polly Poo Poo, that's who? Happy birthday, handsome. Mwah. 13. Yeah, he doesn't act it. Shut off. The male and female duck just made a home in your pool and did it. Ew! Scott get Bob. out of here! So gross! Uh, Yo, be stinking like rat fart. There you go. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! All right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Shut up, Darlene. You're just jealous because I'm dating and you're flat. Yeah! <laughs> oh, bite it! You bite it! Number one. Bart Simpson, The Simpsons. Eat my shorts. He has catchphrases. He has merchandising. He even stole the show for a good portion of its run. This yellow, spike-headed menace is unapologetically disrespectful. Apologize for what? And it seems to have served him well. How he hasn't managed to be expelled from school permanently is beyond us, but he's evidently got that whole brat thing down to a science. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Why, you little... Uh-oh. <laughs> What's going on there? I think Bart's stupid again, Mom. Do you agree with our list? Yes, ma'am. Who's your favorite or least favorite television brat? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Boy, is Mr. Wilson gonna be mad.